the arrival of the official Christmas tree at the White House. This year's tree comes from a farm in Lansdale, Pennsylvania. Well, here's a holiday riddle we ask every Thanksgiving. Who founded a huge tech company, created a successful cosmetic business, and now raises turkeys like the Indians did? Here's our Power Player of the Week. Farm with the land, farm with the seasons. Know your soil, know your rainfall, know, know, your, know your weather, know your animals. Sandy Lerner is talking about sustainable farming, raising livestock and growing vegetables without the chemicals that are so common in what she calls factory farming. Just days before Thanksgiving, she took me out to sea, and yes, to dance, with her 1,300 turkeys heritage breeds that trace back to the Indians. Come on, raise your arms. Go, 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 Lerner is mistress of Ayrshire Farm, 800 acres in Upperville, Virginia. But as interesting as her business is how she got here. She grew up on a farm in California, making enough from raising cattle to send herself to college. What I learned was to love work. I'm really happiest when I'm engaged and, and working and thinking and, and, and striving. She got into computers. In 1984, she and her then husband started Cisco Systems that found a way to link networks of computers, the foundation of the internet. But six years later, venture capital people were running Cisco. How do you get fired from a company that you started? We just basically got taken to the cleaners, and part of that was, if you don't have an employment contract, I got fired by the same guy who fired Steve Jobs. <laughs> Lerner had a second act. She started a cosmetics company called Urban Decay, with edgy colors for women like her. And in 1996, she bought Ayrshire Farm. It's historically been people who had disposable income who made strides in farming. Look at George Washington or look at Thomas Jefferson. You're such a pretty girl. She says pretty is as pretty does. She raises shires, war horses that go back centuries, Scotch Highland cattle, and those turkeys, which she says taste better because of the lives they lead. How much does an Ayrshire turkey cost as compared to what I'd get in a grocery store? Well, our turkeys are expensive. They're between, I think they're running this year about 160 to 200 dollars. At those prices there are questions about how to make this kind of farming profitable. But while Lerner is determined to run a sound business, it's not just about the bottom line. There's a 40-room mansion on the farm. What's it like living there? I don't know. What do you mean? I live in a little log cabin and I love it. Do you think you're a bit eccentric? I am now that I'm rich. I used to just be weird. And so, just days before Thanksgiving, Sandy Lerner and I danced with the turkeys. She grew up on a family farm, and she wants to see those values live on. I'm a cowgirl. I can tell what cows are thinking. It's very much my success as a farmer, which is what George Washington was. He, he wanted to be a really good farmer. And I think I've, I've, been a, I've, I've become a good farmer. Sandy Lerner has sold more than 800 turkeys this Thanksgiving, and she donated more than 200 to local charities. And that's it for today. Have a great week, and we'll see you next Fox News Sunday.